As COVID-19 spread across the globe, the fragility of supply chains became obvious. Many countries quickly discovered that having most of your suppliers outside of your home country came with more risk than ever realized. Supply chain professionals have plans to mitigate the risk of localized disasters such as floods and earthquakes. However, no one planned for a supply chain disruption that would impact every country on the planet. What were the odds of that happening? As states of emergency were declared and stay-at-home orders obeyed, some companies declared analytics useless. For these companies, the primary goal was to keep the company operating. For several of my clients, the metrics and analytics that we put in place in the last 6 to 12 months became the data tools by which we managed their business decisions during pandemic closures. This video is one of their stories. I will describe the type of company and the analytics tools we put in place. Then I'll tell you about the pandemic impact and how we used the existing analytics tools to adapt to a new reality. My story comes from a 30 plus year family business. The company provides several collections of hair care products and sells through major retailers and online channels. About six months ago, the CEO recognized the need to embrace data analytics to improve decision making and the speed thereof. He and his team were ready to learn how to leverage the use of data and obtain detailed insights into business operations. The company used an ERP system that is somewhat dated and restricted in its capabilities, but it serves the daily tactical needs of the company. However, it doesn't serve their more strategic needs. I gained access to the SQL data that runs the ERP system and began to construct real-time interactive dashboards. We could see the profit of each product across each selling channel and for each customer. While the margins were quite healthy, we found opportunities to improve those margins when the detailed views became visible. We even discovered a few products that had negative profit margins in certain selling channels. Those were corrected. I provide visibility into the inventory stored in multiple locations, including third-party retail consignment warehouses. With this newfound transparency of data, it was easier to identify a surplus of some finished goods and to see where forecast values indicated a need to produce more. Using the bill of materials, the demand of finished goods was mapped down to the raw material level. Combined with near real-time information on the amount of raw materials on hand, available, and on order, inventory management professionals could make better decisions regarding raw material purchases from suppliers. I studied the order patterns of each product and generated demand forecasts by which finished goods and raw materials could be planned. These forecasts were based on longer-term historical data for each product and the forecast allowed us to determine the number of days of supply that this company had in-house. I provided visibility into the cost of inventory, i.e. how much precious cash was tied up in inventory that the company could not access for other purposes. This allowed inventory management professionals to see which items had many weeks of supply and which items have the greatest impact on the company's cash flow. Just as the team was becoming comfortable with their new set of tools, COVID-19 spread across the world. Economies ground to a halt. States of emergency were declared. Shelter-in-place orders were enacted. Most large retail chains halted their orders from my client as consumers stayed at home. Online ordering became the new norm, and this company experienced a complete shift in its dominant sales channels. Suddenly, the challenge became shifting inventory management to support online channels, channels which had previously been only 20% of the company's sales. In addition to shifting inventory management, company operations also needed to shift. Previously, inventory was primarily shipped to large retailers, so the company was set up to ship pallets filled with cases of products. Supporting online sales meant a substantial increase in products that are shipped as individual units. This was a shift that completely changed the packaging needs and required moving manpower to different areas of production. 
With the shifts required, the previous forecast, which had been based on a two-year history of seasonal patterns, was no longer representative of the anticipated future. Using the existing data tools and dashboards previously developed, we switched to looking at daily trends rather than monthly seasonal trends. The new forecast of product volumes for roughly 150 products was generated based on recent, and I do mean very recent, ordering history. We reviewed and adjusted forecasts every few days until a new normal could be seen from the ordering data. After two weeks, we shifted our forecast review to weekly and could better manage the amount of inventory that needed to be sent into each selling channel. Without having these analytical dashboards in place, this company would not have had any insight into what to expect during the COVID-19 lockdown. Instead, we used these tools to adjust production expectations, reassign workers where they were needed the most, and to quickly align expenses to expected revenue levels. It took decades for analytical tools to evolve. It took just a few days for COVID-19 to halt the world economy. While some companies threw analytics out of the window to prioritize keeping the company running, others relied on analytics for their very survival. As the impact of the pandemic fades, many of its effects will be with us for years. For supply chain professionals, risk mitigation to deal with future pandemics is a must, and analytics can be one key tool in your journey of mitigation. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to press like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive a message when new videos are released. You can also explore the other videos in this series or visit our website for more information on how to use data analysis to improve your business.